They come every year. Millions flock to see them. The destruction, the chaos. Disaster movies from Hollywood. They're terrifying, heart-stopping, and sometimes totally ridiculous. These two veteran emergency response experts have helped to save lives after earthquakes, tsunamis, and other crises. They'll be our movie critics today, telling you what these movies get right and wrong about the real thing. My name is Charlie, and I'm not Morgan Freeman, obviously. But as an actor, I'm in the business of making the fictional seem real. But I do sometimes wonder what's real and what's not in disaster films. My name is Elsat, Elsat Mamutaliva, and I have been working for the Red Cross Red Crescent Movement for more than 15 years. So hi, I'm Jamie Lesser. I'm the head of emergency operations. Fortunately, I've been able to have an opportunity to travel the world leading emergency operations. Let's start with a good earthquake movie. San Andreas was released in 2015 and follows the story of a fire company helicopter pilot responding to an earthquake and tsunami that hits San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know why all those boats are going towards the wave rather than uh, going to a safer place. They have softly depicted the strength of the wave and how dangerous it can be. They're trying to avoid and then maneuver. Uh, I think it will just crash and kill, unfortunately, as it happened during the Indian Ocean tsunami back in 2004. Emma. Emma. Oh, where are you? Uh, um, uh, the Tate Weston. Got you on the top floor. Emma, listen, get as many people as you can and get to the roof. I'm in the helo and I'll get you from there, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, get to the roof, honey. Oh my God, get to the roof. <laughs> I hope not many people uh, watch this movie and then they believe it and then they will be rushing to the roof when the earthquake happens. I never heard of uh, professionals advising go to the roof so you can be actually saved by a helicopter. Dante's Peak, released in 1997, is a disaster film about a small rural mountain town next to a long dormant volcano that erupts without warning. I love Dante's Peak. Uh, I want to watch this movie right now. These are just precautionary measures. Um, we don't want to start a panic. Pan Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Please just stay calm. One of the greatest lessons I ever got before I, I became head of emergency operations was your job in an emergency is to bring calm to the chaos. Um, it's my mantra. I, I want to get it tattooed across my chest because it really is what we should do as humanitarians, right? You can see uh, Pierce Brosnan jumping in there, trying to, trying to you know, maintain calm, and picking someone up out of the crowd. One of the other mantras we have is, you know, ensure that your own safety before you try to help someone else because you can't help someone if you're dead. Uh, so jumping into the four, you know, is an important thing to do in Hollywood, but always consider whether or not this is gonna impact your ability to help other people. If you want one message, uh, if there's a lava flow, don't run towards it. Uh, and especially don't try to drive over it. The radiant heat from a moving lava flow would have cooked those folks like they were in an oven. Those tires spinning, they wouldn't have been tires for very long. Uh, 
uh, you would have just sort of melted into it. And putting it in the gear again would not have helped you get out of the lava flow. So the first big message to pass here is you can't help somebody if you don't help yourself. And by driving into a lava flow, you're not helping anybody. But I get it, right? I mean, you know, you got to save your kids' lives. You got to do something heroic. That's, that's great Hollywood. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, that's a goofy scene. We've seen some pretty wacky scenes here and some realities, but all these films do show in different ways while we all need to be personally prepared and trained to deal with possible disasters. My advice would be to discuss with family members, if possible, with their neighbors as well. Uh, identify the safest place, identify the meeting points in case you are not at home, in case everyone is at different places. Then where will you be meeting up? Where would be considered the safest place in case of an uh, earthquake, in case of a uh, tsunami or something like that, right? Don't run into an emergency. Hold back, assess the situation, and if you need to run in, make sure you're not going to kill everybody as you do it. Um, bring calm to the chaos. That's our job, that's your job. Um, invest in community preparedness. Learn about what's happening in your community and understand your reactions if something is not normal. And lastly, and most importantly, trust the experts. Like the YouTube channel of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies and please subscribe.